Hey everyone! So, as you probably know, everyone has been obsessed with Animal Crossing New Horizons lately, including me. You've probably seen videos of polymer clay sculptures slash figurines floating around YouTube, so I thought it would be really fun to try that out today. I'm going to be making my personal favorite villager, Jacob, sitting in a cute little glass jar talking to some bugs. In the game, he's constantly talking to me about how he talks to the bugs on his floor, so I thought it would be really cute. I'm going to be making all the pieces out of white polymer clay and painting them with acrylic paint. So, without further ado, let's get started! I first picked out a jar to put him in. This particular one is like a mini fishbowl with a cork stopper on top. Throughout the video, I'll be referencing it off camera to make sure my piece isn't too big. I'll also be using some polymer clay, acrylic paint, and paint brushes. First, I made the beak by rolling one side of a small piece of polymer clay into a cone shape. Then, I cut off the tip of the cone and began squaring off the edges into a more of an elongated pyramid. Then, I attached it onto the head, which was just a sphere of clay. I thought the beak was a little long, so I compressed it to look more like Jacob's beak. Next, I worked on the body. Taking a ball of clay slightly smaller than the head, I rolled it in the same way as the beak, but I stopped rolling before a point formed, so that there would be a flat surface to attach onto the head. Then, I joined the two together. I cut the body on an angle so that the head would appear to be looking downwards, but I ended up getting rid of this later. i just like to mention that I kept on messing up while I was making this, and I kept on having to redo pieces because I'd squished them, so I'm sorry if there are any inconsistencies between the pieces in the different clips. Anyway, next, I rolled out a small piece similar to the beak and flattened it into a teardrop shape to form the wings. I just attached it onto the body and blended it on. Next, I'm going to make the legs. I rolled out a small piece of clay into a thin coil, then cut off two pieces and folded them in half like so. I cut three tiny sections and added them onto the legs as toes. Then I blended them onto the body. For the bugs, I was originally going to just make tiny specks of clay, but I ended up replacing all of them with different types of bugs. Actually, the only bug that I kept from this clip was the worm. The fly was really finicky, so I ended up turning it into a caterpillar and another worm. I also added a tail after filming because I forgot to make one before by making a large flat teardrop shape and cutting a V in the end. I baked them all in my oven according to my clay's directions. When it came out of the oven, the legs had bent in a really weird way so that they were no longer touching the ground. I figured it wouldn't matter because I could just glue them down to the jar. Next, I drew on his markings and painted.
Finally, I super glued all my pieces into the jar. I accidentally forgot to turn on the camera when I was gluing on Jacob, so what I basically did was I put a drop of super glue on his feet, body, and tail and placed him in the jar. With that, I was finished. Here's what it looks like, and overall I'm really happy with how it came out. I don't really have much practice at working with polymer clay and painting, but considering that, I think it looks pretty cool. The dark green paint came out really splotchy, and it rubbed off onto the legs because of how they were curling up. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe for more fuzzy sock plushies, crochet tutorials, and other miscellaneous crafts like this one. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end, and I'll see you next time. Bye!